Electronic payments have been around for almost 200 years. In 1871, Western Union added the ability to transfer money electronically between New York, Chicago, and Boston. That's right, e-payments were a thing eight years before Edison created his first light bulb in 1879. By 1914, Western Union also introduced metal money, known today as one of the first credit cards. Now obviously, Western Union was ahead of its time and was really the starting block for many of the fine tech companies that we're familiar with today. Yet, even though electronic payment has been around for over a century, a lot of people still don't understand how it works. Now, I'm not trying to call you out if you're in that boat. The process is completely different than what it used to be back when Henry Ford pioneered the automobile. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from eTactics, and today I'm going to explain three things you absolutely need to know about electronic payments. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. First, what in the world is FinTech? FinTech stands for Financial Technology. Really creative, I know. In a nutshell, it's a technology that improves and automates financial services. It also used to only include back-end processes. We now live in a world driven by consumer expectations and experience. Therefore, FinTech now involves more customer-oriented services. It's also what drives the ability to pay for things online. It's projected that the FinTech industry will reach a total value of $310 billion by 2022. In other words, this industry has found its way into our daily lives without us even really realizing it. You don't hear about people talking about the latest payment processors or gateways out there, more on those terms later, and we don't have to. They've gotten so streamlined at what they do and are such an integral part of our life that we don't even realize how many organizations touch our money before, during, and after purchases. Think about the process of purchasing something online. It's ingrained in our brains as, I want it, I buy it, like that Ariana Grande song. But there's a little bit more nuance to it. You find the item you want and add it to your cart. Once you're done shopping, you visit your cart and click the checkout button. On the next series of screens, you put in your billing information, choose your shipping preferences, and click buy. Then you're sitting in front of a receipt page and usually receive an email confirmation of the purchase. That entire process is fine tech. You probably got redirected to a fine tech organization's gateway without even realizing it the moment you clicked on checkout. The second thing you need to know is the inner workings of electronic payments. First, as you probably know, there are multiple ways to pay online. Credit or debit cards, prepaid card payments, bank transfers, e-wallets, and mobile payments. There are also several players working in front of you and the background that help make an electronic payment go through. A merchant website, where you find something you can't live without. A payment gateway, or the platform you would enter your credit card or banking account information into to get that special something as soon as possible. And a payment processor, the behind the scenes and does all the communication between the credit card companies and or bank accounts to verify that you have enough money to pay for what you're trying to buy. There's also the seven step process to electronic payments that includes purchase, encryption, verification, authorization, transfer, and completion. The third essential piece to electronic payment that you need to know is PCI. PCI compliance is the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard, or PCI DSS. It's a set of security standards designed to ensure that all companies that accept, process, store, or transmit credit card information maintain a secure environment. The Payment Card Industry Security Standards Council, or PCI SSC, officially launched on September 7, 2006. Its goal is to manage the payment card industry, PCI, on an ongoing basis by implementing security standards. These standards place a particular focus on improving payment account security for every transaction and the process in between. PCI SSC manages PCI DSS. Talk about a lot of acronyms. Basically, this group is like the Jedi Council, but for payments instead of the balance of the force. In other words, they're an independent body that exists with the help from major payment card brands like Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, and JCB. It's important to note here that the payment brands and acquirers are responsible for enforcing compliance, not the PCI SSC. So you may ask yourself, how big does a company need to be to follow these PCI rules in that case? It doesn't matter the size of an organization. Any organization that accepts credit cards as a form of payment must follow PCI compliance. These security standards are what helps to keep our credit card information safe when we find that item that we can't live without, whether it's in a brick and mortar or online store. If organizations don't follow PCI compliance, they're going to face a hefty fine. It's inevitable. If there's anything to take away from this video, it's that electronic payments are now an integral part of our daily lives, without us even realizing it. Some of the most famous billionaires, enter Jeff Bezos, are so rich because of electronic payments. Of course, it's not all fun and games and exciting. 
There's also a lot of compliance and regulations that go into electronic payments to protect everyday buyers like you and me. While we go out after work every day and consume the Jedi Council of ePayments or PCI SSC, ensures that there's a balance between what information gets shared between fintech organizations. If you'd like to learn more information about electronic payments, reach out to eTactics. And you already made this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.